Aloha and good afternoon, everybody. So I just wanted to say thank you for having, um, for joining us today. And today I have Eric Bunch of NTP2 Photography that is here with us and is going to share a little bit about his business. So welcome, Eric. Thank you, Phyllis. I'm so glad to have you here. And, I appreciate um, the invite. Yes, I, man, I love your um, your work. Um, so I'm excited to share what you do with the rest of every um, the rest of the people here. So tell us a little bit about you and your business. Uh, so I own a photography and video production company called NTP2 Photography, and we do photography and video production, kind of two divisions in the Tampa Bay area. So we do commercial, corporate. Uh, photography and video, and then we do personal services like family portraits, weddings, parties. Oh, nice. So, so what made you decide on photography? You know, what, what made me decide on photography or what was decided for me with photography, <laughs> I think is more accurate. So uh, my family has been in the photography industry for a long time. Uh, I started in retail and I was working with my dad who had taken over the, his family business from his dad. This business was started in 1972. And then I joined in about 2009 and I eventually took over the day-to-day -day operations of the business, still doing photography on the side. But then later on, as it transitioned to the next part uh, I was I was kind of molded into you're going to do photography for hire, and that's how it was. NTP two was started was uh, almost seven years ago that way. Wow! So I know two of the things that you do um, the most is headshots and branding sessions. Can you explain a little uh, what the difference between the two of them are? Yeah. So I mean, headshots and the need for a headshot has been around forever. Uh, as far as like business cards and, you know, whatever other marketing materials that someone needs. Uh, but I, I noticed a lack in, in the marketing content that people were using. So I created the branding session and branding photography is not as well known in the Tampa Bay area. And I've done a lot of training and studying on branding yourself. And so the difference between a headshot is going to be just, you know, here up and it would be the same picture that is going to be on a business card and all social media profiles and website. And it's going to be very consistent across everything that you see versus a branding is, is more showing you maybe with clients, with products, with services, maybe in an area of town that you focus on. Uh, maybe even utilizing the background to help show what you do. So when a property manager reaches out to me and says, hey, I need to do headshots, where do we do them? Well, let's do it with the property behind you. Uh, I've had a mover, same thing. Hey, I need to do pictures. We've put a house like moving type types of materials behind them. So that's the difference between a headshot and branding is now you're you using the foreground or the background to show what you do uh, and you get a variety of pictures because what you use on instagram might not be the same as what you use on linkedin great point so what is one of the biggest misconceptions that uh, you can think of about uh, in regards to photography oh the biggest misconception is that well, I, what's the need for a photographer? I've got, I've got this phone that does really good pictures. So I think that's probably the biggest uh, misconception is that a lot of people think, well, my phone does a great job and, and I won't need a photographer. And it was probably a couple of years ago, it was starting to affect the industry pretty majorly. But where it's changed now is that's fine. You can go and take pictures of your event or your headshots with your phone, that's great. But do you want to be the one that's doing that? Does that show your professionalism when you show up to take a picture with this versus showing up with someone dedicated to the industry? Uh, so that's the biggest misconception is why, why do I need you? I can do it myself. 
you know, I can film 4K on my phone, but it's the expertise and the knowledge of how to manipulate that into a product that you can utilize and where to share it, how to share it. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I can take a picture, but how do I get it off this? How do I get, the, <laughs> get it off this onto something else is what I hear. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but you're right. <laughs> All right. So can you share a story that actually brings a smile to your face um, about like a photography photography session that you've done? So uh, there's a lot of them. I, I really like working with business professionals, uh, but there was one in particular that I, I worked with this woman several times and she was writing her book and uh, she went through breast cancer years ago. Uh, and it left her with really not nothing, nothing there. And so what, what she wanted to do is she wanted to have her body painted, uh, in, in some type of, uh, having like the art to show off what she feels like. And just to, while I wasn't there to, to photograph the progress, because she's like, look, once I'm painted, you can come around, but I don't want to just walk out with nothing, nothing on. Uh, so once I showed up later on, just to take these pictures and know that that this is going to be used for things like book covers and materials and prints and you know this is their legacy that they're leaving behind and that's what I say is I help people to leave a legacy behind whether whether you're just out there networking or you have an insurance company or you're a real estate agent I mean your image is your brand and that's that's part of who you are and to capture these individuals that that later on people can look back and, and see these pictures and go that was my relative or or that that's that's my mom that's my dad and and to have all these you know pictures will outlive all of us and that's what I love about what I do is it's my products don't expire you know sure we could lose the digital format, but let's just say that never happens. These images that I'm helping people create are going to outlive all of us. And that's what is going to help them to leave a legacy behind and be a well-known individual. That's so true. That's so true. You know, um, I've used you a, a couple of times for family photos and also too for, um, for my headshots and um, branding sessions. So I know the quality of work that you do. I am always floored at what you do um, and how amazing these photos turn out each and every time. And just your, the way that you have this eye, you look at things from a different lens, right? Than I do. Mm -hmm. So when you're explaining things, I'm like, I don't know, whatever, whatever you say, I, I trust you because I do. Um, but it, it's like, you just bring this, this whole other, um, it's like a, a not layer, but it, you just bring everything to life. And um, it's so amazing what you do. And I love everything that you've done for, for me and my family. And I just wanted to give you the opportunity to share you with the world. Um, yeah, thank you. I, yes. I, I appreciate it. I've been watching all the different series that you've had with different people. And I was going, man, I'd love to be on that someday. And it was <laughs> like, this was just last week I was thinking that. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> Yes, I just, you know, I just want to uh, share my, um, my people, right, my, my people that I use and that I've done things um, with, with everybody, because, you know, like, I can use you and, and, um, but just giving them, them that opportunity to hear from you and a little bit about you. And, um, you know, I truly appreciate everything that you do. Um, and I look forward to when I get my pink Cadillac, cause that's happening. Um, <laughs> my branding session that you're going to do for that. So I cannot wait. I've uh, uh, an all pink vehicle. I've, I've, that's been, that's been a dream to do a photo session with one of those. So yes. I'm going to, I'm going to save that specifically for you. Awesome. I cannot wait. You know, my headshots that you, you did with my purple hair. Oh my goodness. That's like, you know, I, you're the one that actually, I didn't even think of it. And you're like, I want to take a picture. And I was like, you know what, that I'm so glad you said that because I love that photo and I get so many compliments on it all the time. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.